means even the first round here is going to make a huge difference. And it's going to be pretty explosive from the looks of it. Coming out of the squeak door, Molotov in the corner, and Molotov, smoking of mini as fast as they can. It's Jax to open up the season with a kill on Junior and Grim. Oh no, they stuck on top of each other in Grim. He will get a quick triple, and that really should be the round. Alexi on his own. Just a Glock in his hand, and he'll take down Grim for a one versus two now. 30 seconds now on the clock, and Floppy up in the rafters, ready and waiting. He's got the tag. They have the information, and what do you do now? Ooh, look at those Stretch Armstrong arms. <laughs> yep, he has some, <laughs> some real, real long fingers on that one. Go, go, Gadget Arms. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You need Jax or Hunter to provide you an opening, a kill to get some movement in this defense, and Floppy's gonna keep right into it. There it is, that's perfect. Now Fang is put into action, oh, and he just missed the timing. This is dangerous for complexity. Two players in the lower bomb site. Yeah, that is really scary. Only 10 seconds left, but they're gonna get a chance to get the bomb plant down already. Such a great turnaround in this round if you're on the side of G2. Almost a chance there for Jax to find another kill. Oh, and actually somehow Monacy Able to take down Fang, you would have thought at that range the M4 would have won that fight every single time. But now instead, Grim and Junior on their own trying to walk in. It's a massive crossfire, and they're never going to make it through. So G2 will end up winning the second round. That is a swift comeback. Grim is going to have an opportunity to turn the tide, still waiting in dark. Waiting for his moment. Hunter just above him. Hasn't spotted anything just yet. There's the plant. Grim's gonna start peeking and he stops it. He slows it down. Puts the M4 in play on Fang. Into a one-on-one -on -one we go. And Junior has 15 seconds to play a stone-cold clutch against Alexi. This is gonna be tricky. 10 seconds. He fakes it once. And he probably can't really fake it again. He swings from... Oh, there's the head. And he finally spots him. Now he has to duck down low. Stay out of the line of sight. And he gets the headshot. Absolutely brilliant play at the end there in their favor and down to the lower bomb site we go fang to defend oh what a great entrance from jack's immediate headshot and the bomb site is open for business Jim, and he runs right into jt who was preoccupied looking down onto the lower part of the bomb site Jax, i feel like that is actually a, probably a classic view of both the strength and weaknesses of jack some of the time it's like getting that opening, getting the follow-up, and he wants to keep going, and he's very excited about it, but probably could have just kept the cool there and played a four on a three. This retake, though, they do have kits. This is dangerous right now for your complexity. Super dangerous. They're going to go for it. They're committed to it now, and they could lose everything in this retake, and they will. Tech nine kill from Hunter, and Nico will take down Junior, and there was a moment there where it even looked like they were thinking, is this a... Do we just give up this round? Aim is going to be wildly off, but maybe he can still find Jax. Know that they're actually all ducking under him. That's incredible. 20 seconds, though, is a big problem right now. Not anymore. Three wow. kills going the way of G2, right as you say that. Floppy and Grim, the last ones, the upper defenders. I take it all back. <laughs> it's not a problem at all. Yep. <laughs> No money left for Complexity's defense, so they'll have to back away. Junior's got 1,100. He's trying to make sure he can have that AWP in the next gun round. Couldn't shoot him from Monacy. We haven't had to say his name too much. Didn't really touch on him. I figured, saw the excitement and all the hype around him being picked up by this G2 roster. I feel like we've all heard a lot about him in the recent, recent days and months. What's up, guys? Check out HotPizza.gg, a really good case opening website. Recently, Hot Pizza has added really cool new operational cases. For example, in this new case, you can get a special rare item which guarantees you 100% profit. Also, they are holding a new event as well. First, select your preferred payment method, and for every $1 deposited, you get one bomb. Once you get 100 of them, you can open a new operational case for free and get a nice bonus item. Also, don't forget to use my code METS to get 50 cents for free and start opening more cases. The website has many other modes like case openings, case battles, and case upgrades. Link to the website is in the description below. They didn't really even have a full buy due to the back and forth nature of how this map began. So now you've lost your opera, you've lost outside control. Modesty's got another one. That's Grim peeking up from the stairs. That's Nico coming through the smoke and finding a double. And it looks oh so easy for G2. Just snowballs out of control after the opening kill for Modesty. Complexity, I wonder who's going to be the person that can sort of 
you know, shake up around a little bit. I think, yeah, the, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind for me would be w w would be Floppy. Grim, I mean, maybe it's just because how he used him. Maybe he can add a few more wrinkles to his game, but is more of like a, a solid anchor type. Um, and obviously, Junior with the AWP. You never know how dynamic we've seen him get at various points throughout his career. But this is some good shooting from Odyssey to start the game. Also, complexity. They can't really stay here forever, can they? There's no one holding a ramp, so... It looks like it actually might be the right call at the moment. Grim, he sees the shadow on the ground, and he's going to be able to pick up the kill on Hunter. It's a swift return from Jax, but they line up. Oh, he gets the headshot anyway to take down Junior. What a scary position there. They could have been wiped out by that AWP, but instead now, it's a three-on-three, -three, and JT is on his own back here. And he's had a bit of a rough start to this game. He's one and seven so far. Sees them coming in, tries to set up for the flashbang, and it actually works, but he's not quite quick enough. Floppy is there to help him out. And maybe JT bought enough time. It's Fang to end it, and it will be another round finally for complexity. Especially if you have to fight around secret and lobby before you could even do the retake to begin with. So, yeah, I don't think they know. They don't even realize it. Well, they're going to realize now. Actually, down. this might actually work out perfectly. They've somehow find a weird timing and a weird gap to get down here. Modesty's the only one actually in the lower bomb site. This turned into a huge issue for G2, and it turned into a huge round loss. Complexity given a bit of a gift. There's no way Nico stops this, surely. No, he's out of position, and the smoke is over. Oh, he had the right idea, but he's going to go down. I assumed because there were two people in lobby that one would be holding... Perhaps a miscue from G2. We probably don't see those those kind of miscues too much moving forward for G2 when they when they start feeling a bit more comfortable with themselves. Oh, comes to the smoke and takes down Floppy and Junior both. That is... You talk about the mind game of playing outside and they're sort of saying, okay, we're not going to just send Nico fighting. We're going to set up the wall and go down. And then instead, there actually is Nico fighting yeah. just through the wall instead. Just to just to highlight that, pro, because we did talk about it earlier with Nexa, you know, versus Alexei B. And I, I still think the problem is from the outside judging JT, oh, this is so scary. When you're walking through the bomb site like this and you're out in the open, you get caught here. You just have to win the fight immediately. And Jax, he's going to have the advantage. Good kill, though. And Floppy, he's quick to turn around. That actually is an, a, a neat example of, of his understanding and his sort of built-in mechanics, but it's not enough to get the kill. Did you uh, did you know that by far and away, the uh, the majority of uh, Bob cats are not called Bob at all? Okay. Yeah, I still think that's it's so outrageous that, that that is the the bar that's been set that high. But we'll see. Grim and Floppy with a good defense to begin with here. Taking down Jax and Alexi. And Grim actually going aggressive into the lobby. In case there was a second sort of pump of that A attack, he would have been ready to catch it. And he was. Oh, and he even dodges that. I don't think Monis even saw that. Ooh, good shot there. Grim has found Hunter. It's just a one versus three a chance, but Junior is ready and waiting. So, Complexity get their sixth round. It's six to nine. They're going to try and make a comeback on the T-half right when we return from the break, so stay tuned. Tough target, and Alexi drops, but the rest of Complexity is attacking towards Under Heaven. Monazi's stuck. There's nowhere to go from there. Jack's pushing in towards Hutt. He's found one. He's got more to deal with. Taps away. It's a second head found, and now he's got an odd angle. Now Complexity is going to be tough to deal with. But they have gotten into the bomb site. Both players are going to be stuck behind the silos. It's Grim and Fang with everything to do. What excellent work coming out from Jackson this round. The fact that he managed to push forward, get the kill so he didn't even get sandwiched, turns around and gets another one as they come in from heaven. Soup, simply fantastic. See if he could finish the round. No, Fang is going to bring him down. That's a nice headshot. And now Nico on his own. And they're very low on health on the other side. They're going to come fight him. Instead of waiting for him to come and oh. find them and the bomb site, simple one tap to finish the round, and it will be G2 to pick up the first pistol in the second half. Nico waiting for information as well. They just get to be patient. G2 doesn't have to do anything for the moment. And Fang with the AK stepping up to the plate. <laughs> it's such a hard position to clear out. Yeah. Even with the AKs, it's such a narrow gap, and the scope just does give a bit of an advantage. And even on the scope, Nico going to be able to finish the round. Outrageous. <laughs> Complexity and JT have got to find the solution here. Oh, great headshot. That's Grim, full HP down. And you already have Junior. You already have JT with low HP. Jax finds another one. These are valuable players going down for Complexity. And all of a sudden, the man advantage is turned into a rough spot. Ooh, GT, the full headshot in this floppy to find Monacy. They managed to save themselves. And 
it actually looked like that was going to be an outright disaster there for complexity it looked like they were about to completely get wiped out hunter in the right position though and he, he even had the right idea he wanted to continue the spray but floppy was lightning fast to take him down if you can hit them hard enough to where they, you take all their guns away, even better. Chances are G2 would find a way to save at least a couple rifles. Monacy gonna back off. Here's the footsteps with Floppy. He's got two players boxed in. He's not able to pounce on it just yet. But now is his time. There's the first and the second. But Nico makes it down for the what? trade. And a second frag as well. He's just rotated perfectly. And that's the hopes and dreams of complexity ripped out of their hands. Changes the whole thing with a, with a really quick double kill. Right place, right time, I suppose. But it really looked like they were being completely squished inside of that bomb site. It looked like they were in an awful position defensively. It is, it is crazy. 14 to 7. 20 second round. And that moment where they had that 7 to 12 scoreline where they could have maybe reset the economy of G2. That really was the time to win. But now you can see G2, they're sensing that victory. And it's not that far away now. Opening up this round with a couple of kills. Nico. You will go down to JT. Much needed kill. And something they have to build on right now. Monacy cam. Let's see what he's got. That's a nice flick. He finds him. A little bit of smoke. Goes for the fancy shot afterwards. And just looking for information. Looking to find out where Fang is before committing to anything. My all-seeing gaze. That deagle clip on Mirage that Monacy had. That was yeah. weird. <laughs> it, it just looks completely ridiculous i mean it you think there's just no way that his brain is going to be able to like you know register something is there and then like the whole thing and he well his obviously can you're in a fight all of a sudden so there's some logic behind it nico he's run out of bullets he's got the pistol out instead and jt will find him once again monacy is there to revenge maybe the wrong player but junior be the target for uh for the revenge there and it's gonna be a four on three now wanna see yeah he's got some backup here that's good news oh no hunter goes down and grim will find monacy and now it's the two on two how does alexi want to play this spots one those another one's pushing up that's a tough angle six hp alexi's got a bailout up the ladder he goes and into the bomb site good drop alexi is going to choose to he's going to try and find a position for information and he's basically just playing off jacks they double peek him he says both are here and alexi's in a tough spot he actually could have done so much there and even if he just got away it would have been huge oh alexi he's got the right idea no bomb plant he takes down floppy and now there's only 20 seconds and a lot of pressure now on jt does he try and find him or does he try and get the bomb instead oh this is so tough for alexi i think this is near impossible as he kind of swings out here we go jt playing it pretty well and he's got the kill these flashes are really a coin flip in my opinion It'd be very very hard to to get one that actually covers a lot so we'll see if it's going to be working out or not hunter he turns around for the first one and there's no follow-up fluffy fluffy he'll get it anyway absolutely works out and he will actually find a second entry right there on monacy leaving nico to one versus three and they have time and everything else complexity hanging on if he sort of runs in there kills one and diffuses surely not i don't know it's the start of the year everyone's a bit sleepy but not jt he's down there look at how far away they were if he did that i don't think they can get back in time monacy he's up with the ak that he's been handed over from nico he's got the right idea he's got the right cross set position but jt again with another opening and nico he's gonna be dead as well floppy's down there what a flashbang against jackson he'll burn alive and it will be a 12th round for sure here for complexity they executed the end of that round so well somebody had a really bad start to this game uh but making up for it and then some i would say at the end here which is uh, amazing news fan goes down it doesn't really matter at this point in the game i think three more rounds for complexity they've won five in a row as we can tell so they need to kind of just waiting i think to see if anyone's going to be reacting to jt's footsteps i'm assuming which no one is right now but it's worth trying to play around grim will fall though that is nico finding his 29th kill oh, and this is a very that's a brutal one way pretty really very hard to see on the other side jt's walking out below it but yeah nico has got all the vision and jt he can't see much fang thinking he's a step ahead but that's 31 kills for nico and that is probably what it takes to close this one out as floppy goes down junior is on his own one versus five and nico oh he's gonna be rewarded one last kill 
quad to end it with absolutely spectacular play, and G2 will win the match against Complexity. Yeah, a little bit of a test there, though, at the end. That, that took a little bit of effort out of the G2 side. Complexity almost able to grind back.